Hello, my name is Kate Lim from West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Scooby, and we're working on his go to bed. Now, go to bed is a really useful skill to have because it allows us to practice. It allows us to put the dog in a very specific place without worrying if they're going to break, because the mat helps anchor the dog to the ground. But today, we're just going to practice something that seems very simple, but is actually a very nice skill to have, and that's I'm going to be walking around Scooby. Now this is tough because not a lot of dogs like to be walked around, especially directly behind them. So that's why we're working on it today. Now I'm gonna go ahead, toss a treat just to warm Scooby up. Scooby, hey, go to bed. I'm gonna wait for Scooby. Yes, stay. And now I'm just gonna start walking around him. Scooby, stay. Ah. You see Scooby broke, so I'm going to go back to where I was. Stay. We're going to try that again. Yes, good boy. I'm going to go ahead and treat. Stay. Now the reason I didn't treat Scooby when he went back down is because I don't want him to think that if he breaks, he can get more food. Now we're going to do that again. Just reiterating the stay with a flat palm. Scooby, stay. Yes, good boy. Stay. Now we're going to do a couple rounds in the other direction. Stay. Yes, stay. Really nice job so far. Yes. Stay. We're going to see if we can get one more. Yes, good boy. Stay, and then when I'm ready to release, I'm just gonna tap on the head, okay? And that was a really nice job from Scooby. You see, even though he did pop up the first time, he did really well every other time. He stayed down, he didn't move. Really nice job from Scooby, as this is a much tougher exercise than it seems. Really nice job today. Good job!